one of Kentucky's oldest tiny towns with arguably the richest history. It's been a military town nearly from its founding, and now West Point, Kentucky, is sharing what makes their community tick. It's the feature of this week's Small Town Sunday. Cross the bridge along 31W over the Salt River into Hardin County, Kentucky, and be transported back in time. I live on the same street I was born on. The sign says, Preserving our past to protect our future. And that's exactly the motto West Point, Kentucky follows. It seems to me like the sun comes up and the sun goes down, and the world goes round and round. So I think things pretty much stay the same. Richard Briggs has called West Point home for 88 years. He's a World War II veteran, served as postmaster here for 37 years, and now he's the town's historian. Kentucky was settled in 1776, and that's the same year the first cabin was built here in West Point. <laughs> Briggs says this quintessential river town is one of the oldest Kentucky communities. It was a stop on the Lewis and Clark expedition in 1803, and it's still home to Fort Duffield, where the view, hiking trails, and Civil War reenactments keep people coming back year after year. We do have an original cannonball found in the 1970s um, up at Fort Duffield. We have that here. Welcome to the West Point History Museum. An only three year old operation documenting 200 plus years of life in town. Chris Lucan is the president and curator. She grew up visiting the town with her grandfather, who was born here. And then he would drive through town and talk about who lived in what house and some of the memories that he had when he was a child. And to me, as a little girl, West Point was just such a magical place. Since then, she's fallen in love. She lives in Louisville's Highland neighborhood, but has such a passion for her adopted hometown, she logged 4,000 miles driving back and forth last year alone. She's one of the few people who gets around town by car. No one really walks anywhere. They golf cart everywhere, and there's some Saturday night she'll sit on someone's front porch. It's like a parade of golf carts going down the street. Situated in the floodplain along the Ohio, growth in this town of 1,000 is minimal. We can't grow. We're landlocked with the two rivers and uh, Fort Knox boundaries. There, we can't grow anywhere, so it's just going to stay this same size forever. In fact, little has changed over the past 100 years. You can take a picture of West Point 100 years ago, and 90% of the building houses is still there. Today, the community's one restaurant is located in one of the many historic spots. I can tell you that the Star Cafe on Sundays has the best fried chicken in the whole world. It is so, and their homemade desserts, oh my goodness. Star Cafe's building is more than 100 years old, originally a railroad hotel. It's just one part of the never changing history that this town hopes will continue into the future. The history is a big thing that draws people down here, but then also also knowing that that's not going to change the, the feel of the town. West Point's big festival is called River Days. It's held the third weekend in September. For more raw video from our trip to West Point, just visit WLKY.com. Next week, we're popping into Pee Wee Valley in Oldham County.